red little lie a indie horror game a game jam game actually also a twist on the little red riding hood story it was a quite refreshing twist at that um, playing through the game it was a couple things that was quite obvious the music great the music the music top notch um as i was playing through the game or as i was actually watching back over the game i put a couple tally marks every time i um heard the music sound every time the music sounded really good so you you got all stars there honestly in that department i really love the art style it kind of has this feeling that and i could be wrong on this but the characters and the scenes and this whole idea of this game came up a while ago and or the art style that you have you've already dabbled in it before and like this game just gave you an opportunity to give life to the art that you have already created it was very very good i would love to see some more from you in the future rather it be some more spin-offs of old series like just your idea of what certain characters will look like because i really really do love it especially the face frogs <laughs> uh that yeah great <clears throat> i really like the the cat um Asuka. i really really like him i mean it's probably as cat but yeah it was quite easy to know what was the right choice at the end of the game because he's the title screen picture so obviously i would go to trust him but it would have been really funny if you had flipped the script on us because a lot of his um text pictures are kind of mysterious misleading i guess i was like hmm, he could be lying but i knew that was the uh, right decision to choose because he's the, he's the mascot of the, the game um so it was really you know a nice mascot a nice introduction character a nice uh story uh driver it was it all oh, that was a really good idea mm -hmm. and speaking on that the story itself is really good it's nice and it's fleshed out and i'm not gonna say i saw the i'm not gonna say i saw the twist slash just ending coming because I didn't fully see it, but it was still nice, like to, to see it, especially when they were like, when um Ask at the end, he said, um, how do you expect all the damages is on the inside of the house? And then I had to think back. I'm like, it was everything was inside the house, <laughs> so that was a nice little call back, a nice little you know think about this um type thing. And to have it so the grandma kind of got absorbed and she in a way became the killer. It was very, you know, nice idea. Yeah, the creatures again. I'm just reading down a list of notes that I took while I was rewatching the video. I like the, the creatures. I like the artwork. Like, I like the face, the nose, frogs. Um, as well, I actually like the fact that you put puzzles into the game. Um, I felt like it changed up the gameplay enough that, you know, it keeps the game refreshing some games is, that are quite linear are quite linear where you do nothing besides take this to um take key blue to door red or, or you know you know what i mean it's just it's very straightforward of what you need to do the whole time and sometimes it's good other times that's bad but when the game is able to implement different gameplay elements and still make it you know flow with the game really well i think that's a really good thing to do and a very commendable thing um those are the good things i'm gonna talk about a little bit of the downsides now the first one i'm gonna talk about isn't really a downside because i can see why it's like that because in it it plays to the game but i'm gonna say how basic it is and like i said it's not entirely a bad thing but since it's not that involved a lot of the time you're just gonna be pressing one button the whole time and just, you know, watching the screen behind you, you know, move by your character, um, you know, for a couple minutes or a couple seconds, depending on what, what scene or what transaction you're currently in. But like I say, you're just gonna be pressing button, one button a lot of the time, and or you're gonna be just uh, sitting there thinking about the second puzzle for a while. Um, I'm not a big, f oh, no, I'm going to the next point now. I'm not really a big fan of backtracking in games. Um, sometimes it can work like i said and a lot of these things can work and a lot of these things can be downfalls for games rather they be pros or cons but backtracking in general i'm not a big fan of backtracking in games 
unless they can be done creatively where maybe set pieces change slightly or objectives highlight different parts of the scene that you might not have noticed the first time through things like that but the since the backtracking was just a lot of the same a lot of you just going back here and it already took a you know i don't want to say it took a while because it didn't but like i say you're just holding left you're just holding right for a while so you're, you know you're holding left for right for a while until the uh, scenes change and then you go pick up something you go hold left and right for a while until the scenes change and then you know you go place it somewhere or you go use it here or you go actually pay um cut scene you know b and like i said a lot of these cons aren't really super super bad i'm just you know I'm trying to be critical because I really did like this game. Like, like I said, I actually took notes on this game. Like, I wrote like a page and a half of notes for this game because of how cool I felt like it was. Um, you know. So, moving on to the next thing, I felt like it was a con was the long transition scenes. Um, <clears throat> you have the two where you have like the face frogs, which are really cool. Like I said, and then you have the I think one or two where the wolf has the chance to to spawn. Which, like I said, you know, it's cool that you have those interactions in the scenes, but I feel like because of the kind of game this is, and it's like, so, you know, it's like a basic game, which is fine, it's fine. Having such long transition scenes just pad the game time, and it's filler. It's it's just filler. I feel like a lot of that space could have cut, been cut down, and I'm not too sure if the wolf's appearance are procedural, or they're selling a timer, or they're fixed but with any option that you chose i feel like it would have been okay for this game even if it was fixed like hey the wolf is gonna come and, excuse me like it could have been fixed where after certain scene interactions the wolf would just come and you would just have to find somewhere to hide that would have been okay okay because this game is more of about the story i guess but and then the puzzles, like I was saying before, breaks it up, which makes it more nice. So, all of these are just nitpicky on my part because I wanted to, you know, I want to give you a, a really nice analysis if you happen to um, listen to this video. Mm, um, going to the puzzles, I feel like, alright, right, let's go to the first puzzle first. I feel like the first puzzle could either be one phase shorter or not so many options you know like it increases by two each time i think but it starts with three or something like that so it ends up pretty high which is it's just fine it's yeah you know, i mean it's fine for sometimes but i feel like <laughs> see like i said this is another nitpicky thing but because of the, the way the game feels it kind of breaks it up a little bit too much it breaks the immersion of the game up a little bit too much when these puzzles come in which is more so apparent during the second puzzle. But this puzzle could benefit from a little tweaking or just turning down how long it takes to do it, even if you do everything perfectly. Just turning it down how long the puzzle itself takes. Um, going to the second puzzle. Okay, the second puzzle works well with if you think about it from a story aspect, where, hey, you're, you're gathering these materials in order to mix the you know, potion and you're giving us the opportunity to mix the potion. Then, but I just feel like this puzzle does not work well with this game. It it throws your mind off too much from what the game is. And maybe I'm getting the wrong idea of the game, but it just feels very story driven. And when a puzzle like this comes into a game and you really have to sit there and think about it, maybe I'm done. I mean, it didn't take me that long to get through the puzzle. I mean, I messed it up the first time, which allowed me to get one of the endings. But it, it still just feels like it's padding out the time of the game. And it just feels unnecessary. Like, this game is great. Like, this game is really, really good. But, you know, it's, it's just small things here and there. Yeah, it's made for a game jam. You guys probably, you know, didn't make it in that long of a time. But because of this game being as good as it is, it made me want to like sit down and write something out about this game and i put real effort into editing this game so i wanted to you know give legit feedback but at the end of the day 
I would say pros of the game or in conclusion pros of the game would be the music for sure like yes art style great yes like i want to see more games or just more creations in this kind of art style i really like the mascot of this game the cat itself is just really it's really nice i'm not saying it has to like be a reoccurring character but if it was i wouldn't be upset <laughs> story great i don't know who idea it was for this whole little red riding hood twist where the grandma was a wolf or kind of morphed into the wolf but they need a raise um the beasts themselves the art the artist if those were your ideas as well you need a raise as well the idea of breaking up gameplay period rather than puzzles or just doing something different was was another key idea in making this game a little bit you know stand out from just a regular straight linear game. Um, and I really like the ending wrap up scene um, where it told you a little bit about the story and I like just the graphic in general. And I just I like the title screen as well. It's very nice and it's cute. So I, I think that is cool. Cons are the basicness of the game, which it works well because it's a story, you know, driven ish game. But since it's basic, some of these other cons work against it such as um the constant not constant but the backtracking in general where it's not really too much change so you're just going back doing the same thing over that you've already did and or seen the length of the scenes themselves in some instances you know this game is you know works very well linearly with the story wise so i feel like you don't need such long transition scenes the puzzle links themselves i'm not saying turn the game all the way back to it's like a five minute game but 10 to 15 minutes maybe that would be a nice a nice area for this game to be at least for the story that it has in it i, I can't remember in total how long it took me to play but i think it took me like 30 minutes to play i feel like a lot of that is filler and me just looking at the puzzles because i'm not the smartest so yeah um but anyways thanks for even creating this game um i hope to see a lot more of your game i'm gonna follow so i'll get some notifications when you post uh, when you guys post another game but yeah for anyone who's made it this far thank you for tuning in it's been time and i'm out